How you feel? How you feel, Augie? Your third one straight. We had a really good game tonight. We had, I think, about five different people score. Defense was flying around. It was a great team win. Yeah. You ain't, ain't cross your mind that, that this one right here might, might ball up and go the other way? Just the first team to score on y'all all season. Well, you know... As an offense, we take the blame for that. We put our defense in two bad situations. We turned the ball over inside our own 30 twice, and we can't do that. We put them in a bad situation, and, you know, they really made the best of it tonight. They made a lot of great stops, and, you know, I have 100% confidence in my defense. See, you're going to have to excuse me, Olga. On this one, this is my first interview. They sent me out here by myself, so I really – this is my first time. Now, I know you're probably used to big cubs, but I seen I – seen like I seen you shaking big a couple of times. How what was going through your head on that one? No, it was it was good. My my lineman gave me some big holes, and it was good to get get out in space and run a little bit. Just I was just having fun out there. All right, all good. We gonna get on the part of here. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. And he was uh, on the field. Kicks this one away from the 36-yard line. And this time it's good. Good kick by William Will. He's a good kicker. I think last year he was 14 to 19, and he's always responded after a missed kick. Duke's looking to throw. And toward the corner of the end zone. This one underthrown and picked off. Great play by Cameron Stubbs. He's able to run with that receiver. He's had a great game already. He's able to run with the receiver. Throwing this one down the field, and that is picked off. Great catch again by Cameron Stubbs. He's been all over the place. You know, Beagle had all day to make a throw, and uh, it looks like he tried to give his receiver a chance. But Cameron Stubbs, the playmaker for the Flyers, just was able to get up, uh, box out that receiver, and catch it at his highest point. Cancer takes it again, and he breaks through, and he's inside the 40, the 35. Down to the 20-yard line. At the 10, he gets tripped up and brought down at about the 7. Well, there he is. I said he can beat you with speed, power, and agility. Set up in an eye formation with Kasser as the tailback, and they hand it to him, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Good run by Kasser, but even better blocking scheme by the Flyers' offensive line. They were able to get a push, find a little crease for Kasser, and touchdown Flyers. So they did indeed answer, and they answered rather quickly, and it's all because of this young man. At 46-yard run, he had as part of that drive, the biggest play of the drive. Casher's back in, has the tailback. They'll hand it to him, and he tries to go right up the middle, head down into the end zone, touchdown. Flyers are definitely clicking on all cylinders right now. Good run by Casher. Again, offensive line blocks it the way the play is designed, and that's two consecutive touchdowns by the Flyers after having no success in the first half. Casher, plenty of running room on the right side. First down, maybe more to the 10, to the 5, and he gets to the pylon. But did he get inside it? Touchdown! Wow, what a run by Connor Casser. He did a little bit of everything there. He ran downhill up the middle, then he saw space on the outside, was able to get to the perimeter, and then he dove in for the uh, byline to finish the play. Dayton's offense is clicking, and Connor Casser is now over 200 yards and two touchdowns, but excuse me, three touchdowns after that. And the Dayton Flyers, and their home debut this season, coming up with a big victory. Having to come from behind to get it done here today. They were down 6-3 at the half. They were down 13-3 early in the third quarter. But they come back with 21 unanswered points and win this game 